Drug metabolism can occur in several sites in the body, including the intestinal wall, plasma, and the liver, with the purpose to alter the chemical structure of a substance so it can be excreted from the body more easily. The primary site in which drug metabolism occurs is the liver, and it is achieved by phase one and phase two reactions, or both. The liver is majorly composed of hepatocytes. Hepatocytes play vital roles in the metabolism of drugs and detoxification. This is because they express a set of highly specific biotransforming enzymes within their mitochondria and smooth endoplasmic reticulum, which are pivotal in the metabolism of many substrates. Cytochrome P450 enzymes, commonly referred to as CYP450, are the most important enzymes involved in the phase one metabolism of drugs. They are heme-containing proteins, which catalyze the most common phase one metabolic reaction, oxidation, with the aim to transform the drugs into water-soluble metabolites that can be eliminated quickly in the urine and hence facilitate their excretion. CYP450 enzymes achieve this by acting as monooxygenases, adding an oxygen atom to their hydrophobic substrate. The CYPs are able to do this with the help of their heme group. Electrons received from the cofactor NADPH and a redox partner assist in the oxidation of the iron atom. When a substrate is near to the oxidized iron, the oxygen will be transferred to the hydrophobic substrate, creating a more polar product. This is phase one metabolism. From here, these substrates can be excreted, or they can undergo further metabolic processing by various other enzymes during the phase two of metabolism, through conjugation reactions pathways. Phase two enzymes, such as glutathione S-transferase, look to add a highly polar motif to a suitable functional group on the substrate. Functional groups can include hydroxyl or amine groups, which may already be existing in the substrate or have become exposed during phase one metabolism. These phase two adducts are highly polar and consequently they are significantly more readily excreted into the urine. If drug molecules are substrates for either or both phase one and phase two metabolism, a reduced quantity of drug reaches the systemic circulation, resulting to a lower efficacy against the disease of interest. However, all drugs need to be metabolized to prevent toxic buildup. It's about finding the right balance.